Hey dudes, how you doing? It's Saint. Hope y'all are doing well. Hope y'all are healthy. I know I haven't uploaded a video in a long time, but we have something interesting today. We have a Jellycomb mouse and keyboard combo, basically. And it was completely free for me because guess what? It's my first sponsorship. Woo. So they just sent me one of these and told me that they were open to my feedback. I wasn't given any kind of instructions. Just basically open it up, try it out and tell you guys what I think about it. So let's get to it. Before we continue, if you like game news, game streams and a chill place to watch them, go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, all that kind of fun stuff. I'd really appreciate it. So it comes in a very well closed box i honestly think that it feels very light feels super thin and i think this is probably something really useful for those people that are on the go maybe they have an ipad or i don't know a surface laptop something like that and they need to be moving constantly i think this would be great for that let me see sorry if i'm just opening this up with my one hand but it's all i have so it says jellycomb here in the box iris keyboard and mouse combo round keycaps and this is purple i did order the purple one don't ask me why i think i just didn't see the black and i decided to go purple because why not uh, let's open this here open it here gee boop open it here boop. Boop. all right boom okay so this out of the box it already comes with this little protector which I think is great I don't use these I hate them but I know people that use this a lot so like to protect your keyboard I think this is great I'm just gonna put it there taking a closer look at this it comes wrapped in this like plastic little sleeve and it has a manual right here the reference is a KS45-3. So this particular keyboard is going for $34.99. I'm going to tell you if it's worth or not. So let's go ahead and just open this up. All right, a little sleeve here. Open it pretty simply and just kind of like slides out. Oop. Yep. Okay. That could have been a little bit more impressive. I apologize. So. Here's this, if for some reason you don't know how to use a keyboard, well, you have all these super useful instructions in Mandarin. Okay, no. Okay, kidding, that was actually Japanese, my bad. Uh, all right, so it has a bunch of features, yada yada. I think there's a couple of cool features that not all keyboards have. I'll go over those in a bit, but they look cool. All right, so this is the keyboard itself. Right off the bat, Jesus. I can tell you that it's not loud at all. We come to compare that with my mechanical keyboard versus this. This sounds really, really good for someone who's really not that much of a fan of very loud keyboards. This will do just the job and it's super light. That's something I kind of enjoy about it. It's really light. So if you need to move around or something like that, this is probably perfect for you. Or if you just don't want a very clunky kind of thing, you like something a little bit more sleek, this is great for you as well. I'm not a big fan of the jelly comb lettering here. Honestly, I think like maybe that logo can go somewhere a little bit less intrusive, like maybe over here, but that's, that's fine. On top of this, we also have a mouse over here. Comes in this little pouch. Boop. This one is very light. It feels very kind of hollow. I don't know if that will equate to being cheap feeling. I wouldn't say that entirely because even the texture feels nice. I'd say that for the price, it's good. You know, it doesn't have a lot of weight to it. Again, I consider this for someone who's on the move, not someone who's permanently installed somewhere. Unless you're like on a budget and you really need something decent, this is gonna work for you, but it's very light. It's very light, the, the mouse. I'm more of like, I like heavier stuff, but I'm a gamer. I'm always video editing and stuff like that. I think this would be great for an office setting or studying or stuff like that. So as you can hear here, this is super silent as well. I mean, you can barely hear it. Okay, so let's look at the back of this. So let's take into account that this is a 2.4 G. So we have a little adapter here 
right? That we just connect to our computer. Boop. And this little, this one dongle is gonna be connected to both the mouse and the keyboard, something I find really useful. I know some places have kind of like one dongle for each and that just occupies more USB slots. I think this is great for just one USB port connected and just have everything you need set up on the go. So as the description says, we need one AA battery and two AAA batteries that go in there. I have two AAA batteries, but I think I'm gonna have to open a <laughs> TV remote to be able to get the, the AA one. So this is, I think this one's maybe a, a AA, right? It has, yep, there it is. All right, so let's open this bad boy. Let's get one of these real quick to be able to show you all what this is about. Oh man, ow, dude, I'm not able to do this. All right, I think we're good. So that's, this one just pretty self-explanatory. Pop it in there and you just get this and boom, pop that in there and you're good to go with that one. All right, two AAA batteries that I have here. Also pretty self-explanatory, just one behind the other. So boom, and you just kind of squeeze this one in there too. So. There you go, and you cover it with this little slot thing right here. Boom, and you're good to go. And last but not least, we just connect this. And it works pretty damn quickly. I thought it was gonna be a lot slower than it actually was. This is my new computer, Blue. Uh, I think we should be good now. These things have little on buttons, which is great for saving power. We just gotta flick this one on, like so. And in the back of this one, uh, we have a little slider over here. Boom, we turn that one on and we're good to go. You can tell that it's on by this green button over here. So you just, so it has a bunch of different options. For example, we have this little button here that's to show kind of like options for Chrome. So you just press that and that comes up. We also have a bunch of other ones. So we have a play and pause button with fast forward and going back, you can tell that they tried to go the extra mile and put some premium quote unquote features that a lot of these keyboards don't have. So for example, let's say you're on, I don't know, whatever site and you just wanna go back to Google, you just press this button, boom, and then you're back at Google. This button is to open up your mail. So there's your mail. This button I assume is to open a file, but I don't see anything happening. So I don't really know what that's for. Maybe it's for saving. This button is definitely for saving something because look at look at the thing. This is for settings, which I think is fascinating. So you press settings and boom, you get your settings up. This is for printing, obviously. And this little button over here is super useful, especially for people that do a lot of like calculations, let's say accountants or engineers or stuff like that. Anyone that does honestly office work that has numbers, calculator button, you got your calculator up there. So personally, I think these kind of buttons are really useful. Like I have a mechanical keyboard. Mine doesn't have these kind of buttons. It has obviously the macro keys and stuff like that because it's tuned for something else, right? But other than that, I think these are really useful for anyone in an office setting, you know, that they just want to just get their mail real quick or they need to get to their calculator real quick or look something up. This is great for that kind of setting, particularly. This is super quiet. I mean, it works fine. It's great, honestly. Like you can barely hear it too. What do I think? I think it is a fun and reliable keyboard. I mean, it's just 35 bucks and you got the mouse and keyboard and they're both wireless. It really seems like a good deal for anyone who's in an office or maybe studying, but overall it's just pretty straightforward. You put in the batteries, you turn stuff on and you connect the little USB connector that comes with, well, comes inside the keyboard. So it's not really that hard to set up and that's kind of what I wanted to show by not reading the manual and trying to figure everything out. It's pretty self-explanatory. You can go ahead and check it out in the Jellycomb website. Remember these guys really do make decent products for the money. I mean, my webcam, the one that I use for streaming or sometimes even my own videos, it's from Jellycomb. So thank you Jellycomb for sending this out to me to be able to try it and give my feedback on it. For any of you looking for a budget option regarding a keyboard that has every functionality you might need in everyday tasks in your office, this is a very good option. Leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, I upload videos every single week about tech or gaming. Remember to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch at St. Wolven, as well as join the pack on Discord. 
Thank you for watching, my dudes, and I hope you have a good one. Bye-bye.